the countdown is on. We are less than 24 hours away from a total solar eclipse that will sweep across the United States. Many people are traveling from all over the world to watch a view of once in a lifetime of this stellar moment. Some of those people could include our very own Stern teammate meteorologist. Meteorologist Sarah Flynn and Chief Emeritus Bill Steffen are live from Little Rock, Arkansas. Sarah, Bill, what will the forecast be like there? Hey, Amanda, after about a 12 hour drive from Grand Rapids to here in northern Little Rock, the group of 50 made it, one of them being Chief Emeritus Bill Steffen here with us. It was quite the long drive out there, Bill. What is the forecast looking like for that total solar eclipse tomorrow here in Little Rock? Well, this is amazing. We've already got lots of sunshine here, too. Some drier air has worked its way on in, so I don't think we'll have to worry about the low clouds or middle clouds, but we do have some high clouds coming in. And the question is, how thick are they going to be? Are they going to be thick enough to really uh, dim the view a little bit, or are they going to just be thin enough that we'll be able to see everything? We think maybe that uh, we may not get to see the... the uh, corona, the prominences as well, but I think this is still going to be a great view here in Arkansas. And if people are a lot of people staying in West Michigan watching us, what is that forecast looking like? I know you've been watching that as well. Right. Uh, Grand Rapids has a 94% eclipse, and I think we're looking pretty good. There may be some cloud cover to start the day. We have a warm front working its way through. Temperatures are going to be warmer during the day tomorrow. It should be a fantastic day as the clouds break up. We expect maybe scattered clouds out here, but it should be a great view. And again, 94%, that's a pretty Pretty good eclipse, not totality, but uh, pretty good. And traveling down here, what was it like? Is it busy down here? Any troubles that you ran into? And what do you expect tomorrow as far as traffic? Well, we started in, in uh, going down Interstate 57 in Illinois, and uh, we, we passed wind turbines. It was a cold, chilly day. In fact, my car thermometer said 46 when I left Grand Rapids, and it was 46 when I ended the day in Salem, Illinois. We had dinner with a cousin there, had a great time uh, talking with them, their family. And then we came here uh, during the day tomorrow, uh, pretty much down Interstate 67. So we had a nice trip on down here, and I think I am the only one in the state of Arkansas that's wearing a tie right now. Can you you mentioned I didn't bring a tie clip, didn't bring hairspray, <laughs> but uh, it's been a great trip. It is quite warm. I can, I can attest to that. Warmer than we've had in West Michigan in quite a bit of time. And finally, we've talked about the anticipation behind this event. How exciting is it to travel with this group of 50? And what do you expect with totality tomorrow? Well, I remember when I was a kid making that box out of the cereal box and everything so we could view partial eclipses where I was growing up. I grew up about two miles from Lake Michigan. I saw the amazing total eclipse that we had uh, in 2017 from Tennessee with my 98-year-old mother lying down there in the lawn chair enjoying the show. Uh, but uh, this eclipse is even better. This one is 115 miles wide for totality. The one in, seven, in 2017 was just 66 miles. So uh, a lot of the area is seeing the uh, total eclipse. 31 million people get a chance to see that. It was only 12 million back in 1976. But it should be a great show in Grand Rapids. It's going to be a great show here in Arkansas. Yeah, as Bill said, it's supposed to be pretty good here tomorrow. We're planning to get up bright and early. We'll be here on daybreak as well. Just behind these doors, that group of 50 from Grand Rapids is meeting right now to establish a plan on where to travel tomorrow and just to make sure that we'll have the best view of that total solar eclipse which here will last just over four minutes so tune in tomorrow morning we'll have coverage all throughout the day for now bill and i are live in north little rock we'll send it back to you thanks sarah and bill